All right, sweetness, listen carefully. It is about getting out of the mind as it is more similar in your dream life, in your dream experience, dreaming at night when the body is asleep. There is not as much thinking happening and it is not as much this constant stream of thought coming from, as you call it, the egoic mind, <clears throat> which is an ingrained pattern system that is the conditioning from the, let's call it the inverted matrix conditioning. Yes, where you are in essence working against yourself, where you are working toward the division from your soul. This is a happening that is and a conditioning condition situation that is mending that gap that is bringing back the energy streams that have been plugged in into this way of thinking plugged into the mind and plugged into the outside world and connected to that is communication with the outside world through devices and connected to that is looking what is the outside world doing through media all kinds of uh, you know windows into different lives different places and you never really see what's going on anyways it's never the truth it's all happening on the surface on this communication level and most of it is going through these non-original uh, conditioned filters so there's like sifting, a lot of sharing of conditioning and sifting through conditioning. Now that's all, that's all fine, but what this is all about is the stream of consciousness is coming back into the mother stream. It is coming back from all the outreaches and outbranches. The consciousness is coming back to itself, back into the awareness of soul. And the way soul communicates is we do this because communication already entails within that word the feeling of it uh, to bridge a distance. When in reality in the soul there is no distance. There is simply the knowing. The knowing of it. The intuition comes, it's not even a thought from the outside. It's a thought arising from the inside uh, about someone or a situation and you tune in. And you, you know everything you need to know. This is not to say, oh, we're not going to, you're not going to be using that anymore in the distant future. That's relative, of course. Not meaning to say not very soon, but in the future, of course, at some point, this is going to more and more, the physical communication devices are going to atrophy, just like a muscle atrophies, when it's not used anymore, it's not needed anymore, because the other system, the internet, is coming online more and more and is taking over and it's so much more exciting <laughs> it is so much more exciting telepathy and all of this however or and at the same time it 
is also about now come when you're drinking your tea right you 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 are drinking your tea already in your like oh we want to keep going when we want to keep going that is you know kind of in your mind of, of hold that thought so we can continue that stream this is a stream that is in your heart this is a stream that is not in your thoughts it has nothing to do with your egoic mind although your mind is of course um, relaying it bringing it forth in a way that other minds could if they wanted to um, pick up pick up on it join in um, this is why it is being expressed through the voice also it is being expressed this way because you are still so ingrained and plugged in outwardly so that also uh, it is not simply a silent voice within you but as you are expressing it and even then recording it and listening to it perhaps later on but even if you wouldn't listen to it when you express it this way it is more tangible for you it is more able to settle it is more able to settle in your conscious awareness and this settling also has to do with your your conditioned reaction to oh I have no internet is immediately a negative one like oh I'm missing something that should be there that I that should be there and that I want to have I'm missing it I can't do this 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 and this and uh, maybe for other people yes we're going to also go into that um, it is even a stronger because this this is where it, where it reaches even deeper into your fear which is triggers more of your fear is if your income would be dependent on having internet for example then there's so much more at stake if you so will or at least that is the impression and what we're what we're headed towards and what we're in the process of is that this way of being being conditioned this conditioning this way of wiring is becoming completely uh, rewired so in order to rewire something it needs to be unplugged first yes yes okay so your initial reaction was uh, you know it was a downer although you already you were already wise enough or mature enough or knowing enough to know it's probably meant to it's meant to be it's happening it's meant to be and it's for my own good yet that knowing did not completely um, completely um, dissolve or catch any of the of the other emotions that were there of the the conditioning was still there of of feeling that you were missing something and that uh, yes there wasn't a uh, so much of an like it wasn't completely free yet you were not completely free yet of it and although you've you've had these streams and these moments within this time that you began to see the preciousness of this gift of having this empty space now that isn't being filled and and then you find yourself doing things more consciously you find yourself doing things you otherwise would not have done you find yourself taking care of your body more 
and you definitely find yourself being less distracted. Now, even though you didn't take that time uh, to, because you were not inspired, to uh, do more spiritual work, work on yourself, clearing, conscious work, however you want to call it, um, it was perfect the way it was. It was perfect the way it was. Because it is about absolutely whatever shows up, however you are in any moment. And when the ego shows up and your ego mind is going, which that's what was happening, your ego mind was going in circles, you know, because it wasn't being distracted. It wasn't, it didn't have its handles, you know, its, its familiar pathways that... So you were standing there naked, so to speak, in the, in the empty space and the ego was like, okay, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? And it was going wild and it was, wasn't running the show, but it was back in a stronger way than, that, than what you're used to. And so you also noticed how that was pulling down your vibration and you didn't seem to be able to break through it because, as you know, if you resist it, if you do not allow it to flow, if you have even the slightest bit of judgment towards your egoic mind, your, your egoic patterns, your egoic behavior, you don't like it, then that is precisely the egoic mind that is like looking at itself in the mirror and it's locked in it's locked in two snakes biting their tails but in the in the the vicious cycle it's the vicious cycle it's the downward cycle where the negative judges the negative so the only way to break out of that cycle is to actually be totally okay with it. You know, so if there is the low vibration happening because there is, there is, um, there are thoughts happening in your mind that are not happy with what's happening, with, with the situation, basically. And they're judging everything and they're miserable about everything and so forth. And they're seeing just something isn't good enough in the situation as it is. Projecting into all kinds of stories that are coming in. The only thing that is keeping you hooked into this vicious cycle and keeping it going but keeping you in, in the suffering of it, which is pulling down, this is what is pulling down the vibrations, not the thoughts. Thoughts are just a program. It's how you meet that program. It's how you are with that. So, if you're judging yourself because you are still identified, if you're judging yourself because you're still having these thoughts, if you're judging yourself that you're still, um, instead of observing the thoughts, actually entertaining them, you're still getting on the train instead of letting the train pass by. You're still losing yourself into the negative dream, into the divided dream, into the separation dream, into the egoic dream. You're still losing yourself and you're in it. And then you judge yourself for being in it. Yeah. And that's because there is still a fear there. Of course, that fear is also coming from the egoic mind, but this is what we want to point out to you. There is a fear there. Stay with it. that you could miss out on something. That you might never get out of this vicious cycle, that you might always 
feel this being stuck and prisoner to your, to your own egoic mind, to your own fears, running the show, imprinting on your dream, co-creating, you know, flowing out of you, that you'd never be free of them, never be free within. Look, you're still, you're still, you know, entertaining, feeling these vibrations. Because there's a fear there that you could be not good enough, that you could miss your mark. Yeah, go into that feeling what it is. Can you see how that fear is not you? Yeah, and it's in your heart. And it is from that fear that is not allowing the, the process to roll out, that is not allowing the flow of the egoic mind. And thereby, if the egoic mind isn't allowed to flow, it can't flow through and then unravel. It will always bump up against something, which is of course the egoic mind, and that's how it keeps going. That's this perpetuum mobile that's going like this the whole time. You know? But if you are allowing the negative thoughts and that that also is you may find yourself getting on that train at some point what's going to happen if that fear isn't there is it's going to get boring and you're going to laugh but even the boredness is still a resistance is still a mild form of I don't like this this should not be happening. Same thing like with the internet. I don't like this. This should not be happening. And it's coming from that, and it's so subtle, fear that something could go wrong. That, in, in essence, that um, what you desire is not going to be fulfilled because of your own inability because of some failure, shortcoming of your own. <sighs> when, all right, let's feel this for a moment. Who you are cannot fail. Impossible. Cannot fail. How can the one already saying this is bringing you out <sighs> how can life fail itself how can life fail itself your soul knows this, is in that knowing, is in that non-separation, in that 
what it is, is in that what all life is. It is that. It is a fractal of that, but a fractal that is one with all. This is an experience, this is, this is a knowing, this is a sensation, it's a feeling, it is. And even when you can't feel that because you're riding, you're being ridden by the egoic mind, you're riding on the train of the egoic mind, you're identified, you're, you're, lost in that dream. So you're not feeling this, that you're feeling now, that you're knowing now. However, when you come back to this, it does remain as an understanding, even if you don't feel it, and you're not in the knowing of it, the understanding that is truly there <clears throat> because the knowing is there, it's just temporarily not accessible. That will dissolve this fear so that you can be in the egoic mind and allow it to have its way with you. And you do not offer any resistance. And then what happens is it just runs itself dry. It runs itself out. It's like a wheel spinning and it's going really, really fast. Or, or, or tennis, you know, a tennis game. Well, if there's no partner, So even when the egoic mind plays with itself, goes back and forth, back and forth, it's the meeting of it, because it is not, it is nothing, it is no thing, I mean it actually is a thing, it actually is a program, it's a form, it's a, it's an, it's a form that forms the energy, that takes the energy and, and l makes it flow, gives it filters and makes it flow in certain ways, in certain directions, but that energy is of course you, and even if your energy is caught in it, when there is not the fear of being caught in it, and that energy is relaxed, if you are relaxed, you can allow this to happen. And then what happens is the egoic mind relaxes. It actually doesn't relax. <laughs> but you relax. And that means that you're giving it space. And then it has no power. And it just runs itself. It loses power. Because you give it power with your resistance. With negativity. With the inversion. That is what gives it power. It's the inversion. It's the charge, because it runs on charge. It doesn't run on love. It doesn't run on space. It doesn't run on consciousness. Consciousness awake, it runs on a sleep consciousness that then is bound into inversion, creating charge. Because it's based in fear. It's 
spaced in separation. So you already know this, but we're wanting to show you that we're wanting to make this experientially tangible and knowable. With every single thing that happens in your life, with a seemingly very technical problem. No, it's actually, it is a technical thing, but it's a seeming problem. So it's like a technical thing and every, th every time it gets that physical, every time it has something to do with money, uh, technology, or something as physical as teeth, as dense, it's something that is so dense that is so much um, where we feel we have no influence it triggers that fear of something on the outside having that we have no control over that has so much power over us that it's, you know, money and technology you know, if you don't have a way of communicating and yet that is no different Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can feel it inside of you. There's a part of you that's really, really asleep to that. It is it buying into that it is different. That 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 your you know that this is not a part of the dream. This is like physical, but it is no different. It is just as malleable. It is just as subject to consciousness. Just as subject to soul. As everything else first comes the higher vibrations then comes the manifestation so first comes the finer finer vibrations thoughts emotions feelings vibrations then comes the manifestation of it all of it, all of your experience being a reflection back to you. Of your greater and greater self that wishes to wake up in this form. That's the purpose of why everything is happening. To show you where you still have fear. Where you are still in a sleep and in division consciousness because you're not really can be in division. So it's division unconsciousness. It's division identification this is happening all over the world now relatively to each where, where each one is in their soul's journey it's because it's happening for the being of the the being that is that is this earth that is this planet which we here are all intrinsically a part of
in consciousness and in physicality. So we feel that the technician is coming soon and we shall sojourn.